guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my two sons with me. They're making chocolate truffles. And um, they're gonna show you step by step what we're gonna do. So take it away, boys. So today uh, we have some Toll House, Nestle Toll House cocoa powder, 100%. And we also have some sweet condensed milk. We're gonna be using the whole can and it's about 14 ounces. All right, so. What we're gonna do to start it off is we're gonna put the whole can of sweetened condensed milk into the mixing bowl. mixing bowl, container, whatever you have. And I'm just gonna pour that whole thing, make sure every drop gets out. This is a... Uh, uh, you wanna use this, the uh, spoon to get the rest out? Well, this match looks fine. Be careful. All right, and the trick is when you're adding the cocoa powder, you don't want to throw it all in at the same time, all one and a half cups. You want to do it, you know, in intermittently, you know, you just want to throw it in little by little, mix it up real well, then add the rest as you go along. So the first, we're going to start off with half a cup, which is one third of the total amount. So we're going to throw that all in there. So what it should look like is just a, uh, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it's kind okay. of hard to show. Okay, that's fine. Just okay. start mixing it. I think they get the idea. Sweet condensed milk and cocoa powder. Pretty sure you know what that looks like. They're just going to fold it in until it starts getting a uh, a dark brown. What's the starts... consistency? Is it going to be like a cake-like batter? More like a, uh, like a, like a, like like a, a brownie pudding? batter. Oh, like a brownie batter. Yeah, okay. like a brownie batter. So you're just gonna keep on folding it until it's all incorporated. Actually, it's kind of hard. You want to mix it? You want to mix it? You want to take over? Here. Is it getting like thick? Well, it's already started thick because it has the, the sweet and condensed milk in it. You can take the camera if you want and just show them more close up view. It's a good idea. So this is what it's gonna be looking like. Remember, this is only half a cup of the cocoa powder. We still have a whole cup more to add in there. So it's going to get a lot more dry and a lot thicker as we go along. At which point do you add the rust? Well, like Josh said, you're going to keep on adding it little by little mm -hmm. while you're doing that, actually. So I'm going to flip that, put it back to where it needs to be, and I'm going to start adding it little by little. So put just a little at a time, not a lot. And just keep on mixing it. And then we'll show you what it looks like after we're done putting it all in. So at the end, this is what it should look like. It should be firm, but also sticky. Uh, you should have no more powder left. Well, a little bit doesn't hurt, but about that much. This is just what it's supposed to look like. So, and after this, we put it in the fridge for 30 minutes so it could cool and uh, thicken up. And then we're gonna take it out and put it on um, a baking sheet with parchment paper, or in this case, we have wax paper. So we'll be back. Don't forget to add plastic wrap over it so nothing contaminates it in the fridge. So we're back 30 minutes later. And we took it out the fridge. Now we're gonna pour uh, just a little extra cocoa powder. I'd say two, three tablespoons onto a plate. That's my cat. You heard it. And so this is the the same. Uh, wow, that really truffle. Up, huh? And okay. so we have gloves on and we're just gonna take it and roll it into little balls, um, dip it and coat it inside the cocoa powder and then put it on the wax sheet. So we're gonna move everything over here. Okay. So let's get started. So we're gonna take How much just do you, like a about a, about a tablespoon, a t half tablespoon, tablespoon of uh, of the um, the dough, I guess we'd call it. Yeah. Okay. 
So then you just roll it into a roll ball. Roll into a ball. That, that one's big, Alex. Maybe you should take a little bit less, like Joshua's. So a half tablespoon then? Yeah, because you want them to be like bite size. Alright. And when you roll it in the powder, it's no longer be going to become sticky. It's going to be more powdery, how a truffle should be. Okay. And so these are what they should look like. Mmm, they look delicious. They do look pretty good. Again, just about half a tablespoon is good. So you're just gonna mix it into a, a roll into a ball. Okay, and then what, what's next? Well, then we pop them in the refrigerator again. Let them cool for another 30 minutes, and they should be ready to eat. Okay. So this is like a no bake. No bake, two ingredient chocolate truffles. Nice. Okay. And I'll put all the ingredients that we use down in the description below. Very good. So then we'll pause and come back. No. Other one. Okay guys, this is the finished product. Makes about 17, 18 chocolate truffles and that took about uh, an hour for everything cool time and prep thank you very much please subscribe leave a like on the video